Hi everyone, it's Tina with TSR Creations. So today I'm going to be doing some resin art for you and I'm doing my coasters. Uh, well, I have coasters here. I have a couple ornaments over here and if you can see, probably not down there, I have two dishes that I'm gonna be doing. I don't know that I'm gonna do this, everything on the video, uh, but I am gonna show you how I do the beach resin coasters. Um, so. I am using KS resin today, and this is the Liquid Art Ultra UV Epoxy. Um, this is probably my favorite resin to use. I do have a coupon code down below. I'll link it here. Um, you can save yourself 5% off on order of the KS resin of any of the resins that you'd like. They have a, they have all different kinds of resin. They have a countertop um, epoxy resin uh, for countertops. They have the art resin. They have the ultra UV resin. They have um, uh, uh, deep um, casting resin, which I just ordered because I'm excited. I'm going to do a couple projects with that. Um, so anyway, we're going to get started. I have 16 ounces of the resin mixed up right here. Um, so I'm just, I have it actually on a little warmer because in my studio, my studio is very, oh, my studio is very cold in the winter. Um, so I have a little warmer that I just place it on. It's like a, um, for a mug, for like a coffee mug. So I just have that there just to keep it a little um, fluid while I'm prepping all my stuff. But I want to go through the colors that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be using a little Prussian blue, Prussian blue golden fluid. Okay, I'm also going to be using, and these are resin art, and these are by Color Art. And um, if you're unfamiliar with Color Art, they have pigments that you can use for pouring, and they also have pigments, um, mica powders and stuff like that to use with resin. Um, so I am using their resin products today, and these are the Luster Pigments, and these are absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is called Blue Moon. Let's take a look at this one. And look how pretty. hope you can see it. Um, but when you when you mix it in the resin, you'll see. So this is Blue Moon. Um, then I have some sea foam, and these are like a little bit of like a granule, and these are going to be very sparkly, okay. And then I have some teal magnolia. I'm not sure if I'm going to use both of these because they're pretty similar, um, but I just wanted to show you this is a little darker, okay. So I have those three colors in from the uh, color art, resin art, luster pigments. If you wanna try these out or any of the color art products, I do have a coupon code, saves you 20%. Um, I'll link it here. It's TSR921. And uh, you can save yourself 20% off on anything at color art and it's a great company. Um, but I wanted to do this video because I have to get some of these done and ready for my shop um, for the holidays. So I figured um, I'd film this for you and just show you how I do the beach ones. These are going to be the beachy waves um, part of it. I'm, I'm actually going to have to use oops, a little um, another color. It's going to be like a tannish gold because that's going to be the beach. So um, when I find that color. <laughs> I forgot about that. Um, I will tell you what I use there. I'll put it, I'll link it down below. All my products will be in my description box. Um, if you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe and comment. And um, yeah, I'm glad you're here. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. I usually get back to you pretty quickly. Um, other than that, this is pretty basic uh, resin. Make sure you protect yourself mask, gloves, um, ventilated area, just, you know, keep that in mind. Um, with resin, um, it can be a little intimidating, but, um, you know, it's, there's so much you can do with it. Um, just make sure you protect yourself, your lungs, your hands, everything, because I have had a reaction to the resin in my eyes. I've had like a contact dermatitis type deal um, from just having it maybe on my hand or my glove hand and I touched my eye and then, ooh. So just be very careful, even goggles. Um, so, you know, safety first. Okay guys, so I'm gonna get started. 
I am going to mix them. I'm going to show you. I'll, I'll, maybe, you know what? I'll do one here. Let's, let's mix up a pigment for you. So I'm going to put resin. I think I'm going to do, I'll probably be doing like two cups of each color. So we'll start with that. But let's do this pretty blue moon. And good rule of thumb again. I think I say this every time I do a a uh, resin video is 10% pigment to the resin. With the powders, you can get away with a little bit more, but definitely if you're using paints, 10% no more because it just it activates the resin into like this stringy, clumpy mess. It makes it very, very hard to work with. Okay, so look at this color. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So these are the color art resin pigments that I just adore. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. So I'm going to mix up probably a couple more cup, couple cups of this, a couple cups of this, and probably one of the teals. Maybe both. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and I have to do a tan. All right. Well, let me let me get that right now. Um, hold on one second. Okay. So I have Artist Loft Unbleached Titanium. So let's mix that up. I'm going to probably need two cups of this as well. So put in... Remember, just a little. That's probably, that's good. All right, so I'm gonna mix that in and I'm also gonna add in some um, gold mica, okay? And this is by Unicorn Art and this is champagne gold. Throw in a little bit because I want some sparkle. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and mix up the rest of my paints. Oh, I'm also going to be using probably this peacock green by um, Unicone Art, because this is one of my favorite colors to use, especially for the beachy look. Um, but yeah, so let's get started here. All right, here we go.
to decide.